Brentech here where tech is made simple. So once again, the concept creator, Eddie Visuals, has gone back to Windows 12 for this latest concept, where this time they are focusing on what a gaming edition of the Windows 12 operating system could look like if Microsoft ever decided to roll out a gaming edition of Windows 12. And Eddie Visuals in this concept is focusing on gaming specifically. So there's um, a lot less bloat according to this concept and only the apps that you need. Now I'll leave um, Eddie Visuals' original video down below for you to go check out. I think it's great, it's good. I think um, his work is top notch. Go show some support and that link will be down in the description. But once again, I've just taken a couple of key highlights and screen grabs from the actual original video just to showcase some of those highlights from this latest concept if you would be interested. Now once again, just remember this is a concept and not a real operating system. So here we can see the focus on gaming. And we've got the so-called Windows 12 floating taskbar. At the bottom, we've got a gaming widget here to the bottom left. Um, this is the start menu where you've got your pin games, your dashboard, and your uh, friends in games according to this concept. And obviously a nice dark theme kind of giving that real gaming kind of subtle appearance when it comes to RGB and so on. Moving on to the next. So you can play your favorite games with no bloatware and only the apps you need according to this concept. So its whole focus is on performance and gaming. And here we get a game launcher where obviously your recent updates pertaining to the different games that you have installed or are playing currently. Uh, here we get the widgets, the gaming widget, where there's some interesting stuff taking place here. So you've got friends in games, featured games, and then here at the bottom you've got your CPU usage and also a game booster. Um, obviously very similar to what we get in the PC Manager app that lets you boost your system by clearing out the memory and deleting temporary files that are, are no longer needed. So a very similar effect here with the Game Booster. And here's just the CPU usage widget that's been placed on the desktop. And I do find these desktop widgets are quite popular with the concept creators who push out these so-called future versions of Windows and these concepts, which I'm in favor for. I wish Microsoft did give us the option to be able to use one or two widgets in the Windows OS. And then here we have the performance section in the, game, in, in the settings and on the gaming page where you've got isolated uh, gameplay, virtual VRAM, you can obviously toggle those on and off, and your GPU preferences. And yeah, we've got customized RGB supported devices. So lots going on in regards to gaming and RGB supported devices like monitors and screens and mouse and so on. And focus modes, obviously, um, for gaming. Uh, here's just a, an example of that. Game time focus mode is active. Tap close to dismiss. And here we've got the quick launch um, found in the system tray where you've got some performance plans, Bluetooth devices, connectivity. Here we've got that um, that uh, focus mode as well that we found there regarding your quick launch controls. And here we've just got some examples of different desktops with different layouts. So there's a gaming widget on the desktop. You can see in this more lighter theme, the so-called floating taskbar. Not really too much rounded uh, corners and fluent design, but nonetheless a different idea and a different concept pertaining to a possible Windows 12 gaming edition. And that's just another desktop theme, which I actually think looks quite nice. That's another one with two, the CPU usage and the Game Booster widget. And here's just another desktop theme. And here we can see the kind of layout of taskbar and start menu. And here's the game launcher in another theme. And that's it. That's the Windows 12 Gaming Edition that's um, been posted to Addy Visuals' YouTube site, which I'll leave the original link to his video down below. As mentioned, go show a bit of support. I think this is a great concept. And regarding Windows 12, I'll leave a Windows 12 Rumors playlist in the end screen of this video if you would be interested, because obviously, as I have been posting, Microsoft now will not be rolling out Windows 12 this year. And we'll be focusing on the Windows 11 24 H2 feature update. And I'll leave the video pertaining to uh, Microsoft's um, so-called announcement regarding 24 H2 uh, instead of a Windows 12 this year down below in the description if you would be interested and you'd like to play catch up. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.